What's up guys? So I was just doing a video and then I thought of an even cooler video and I'm just gonna go for it because this has been one of my fav- these are my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. <laughs> And they're the videos that you're about to start, turn a different age, but you say the age you were previous and the things you wish you knew before that age. So for me, it's 23 things I wish I knew before 23. I'm turning 24, so yeah. Number one, life moves on. <laughs> that is like just something I need to remember all the time because for some reason, I think when something bad happens, it's going to be that bad forever. Or if I lose someone, I think I'm never going to find someone like that like again. And honestly, this past year has taught me that when doors close, other ones really do open. That was my pathetic thing of a wink. Two, you are not the main character in everyone else's life. So everyone has basically their own movie. You ha I have my own no I have my own movie and you have your own movie. In my movie, I am the main character. And for some reason, your ego, at least my ego, thinks that I'm the main character in other people's story too. And I'll like sit there and really think people think about me so often. I'm like, wow, they probably don't even remember that. And that is just something that you really need to understand is that you are the only main character in your movie in other people's movies trust me they're thinking about themselves way more than you so that embarrassing thing you did they don't think about it anymore chill number three dyeing your hair blonde is a terrible terrible idea so if you're a natural blonde don't get me wrong go for it but Blonde is not healthy, like it's not a healthy thing to do to your hair. Bleach, like it's not cute. And I used to love putting blonde in my hair, and now this is all, this is literally all virgin hair. I grew out all of my hair, I cut off every single part of it that was dyed. This is all Marissa now, and my hair just loves me so much more, but I did so much damage to my hair when I went blonde. And a lot of people that go blonde and continuously go blonde, they end up needing to cut off their hair, they end up needing extensions in the long run, and I'm just not down. Like, I love my hair and I'm not gonna keep ruining it for that. So, brunette all the way. Four, everyone is beautiful in their own way. So what really sucked is I grew up in this town called Santa Clarita and it was like an up and coming community when my mom moved there. She's a single mom and everyone there was white. Blonde hair, blue eyes, or brunette with the green eyes and just white, 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 white. I was like the only mixed little girl and I just used to compare myself to Barbie, what was on Lizzie McGuire that was on TV and I never felt beautiful because of social environments, I guess. And lo and behold, I'm doing fine with this color of hair. So that kind of goes, I guess I was trying to put that together because that story also goes with me not ever feeling beautiful. Like I always just thought having these big, thick, dark eyebrows and this long brown hair was just not pretty and push comes to shove, it's fine. <laughs> Number five, animals will save your soul. So I just, once I got my dog Django, it's like all of my personal problems just can disappear for a little bit. I just have to look at my animals and be like, it's okay, they still love you. You still have love. Especially this little thing. Amelia. Number six. Weightlifting is the only way to work out. So, if you guys know me, or if you've been following me for some time, you guys know fitness has always been my thing. And I used to do it completely wrong for majority of the time I worked out. And I think that's what made me so annoyed with working out because I just got to a point where I was tired, 
But save yourself some time. Don't go run on the treadmill. Don't go to spin classes. Don't go to those little Zumba classes. They're not gonna help you. Go to the squat rack, squat, go grab some dumbbells and bicep curl. Go learn how to do some push-ups. Go learn how to do some chin-ups and actually use some damn weight. <laughs> Number seven, he really isn't that important. <laughs> Oh man, so I remember my first real boyfriend breakup and I thought my world was ending. I thought I lost my future husband. <laughs> and when push comes to shove, like you don't think about those people anymore. Like you really have to be like, oh shoot, like I totally forgot about that. Like what is going on in your exact scenario in five years won't mean anything. I know that's so cliche, but it's so true. Like. Just look forward to the fact that you get to make new memories, you're gonna meet new people, and you're gonna feel excited again. Like, just chill. Number eight, friendships are everything. So, I really regret not getting as close to people as I probably should and could. So, this past year, I have really dedicated to branching out and finding genuine good friendships and going on friendship dates and just getting like a gang that I like know that I have people that like care about me and like just don't shut people out because you have a new friend or you're having new friends like keep all avenues open and like have as many friends as you can like don't just sit there and alienate yourself because you found a friend so that's something I really regret and I'm working on better this year. I definitely branched myself out a lot more. <laughs> Number nine, don't just go anywhere to get your eyebrows done. <laughs> I made this mistake so many times because like I said, my eyebrows were probably my biggest insecure for the longest time. And I'd go anywhere that would just take these things off, just wax them, pluck them, thread them, whatever. and. I really messed myself up for quite a few years. So be careful with where you go and get your eyebrows done. Number 10, your parents don't know everything. Um, we tend to make our parents gods and we tend to go to them for help and advice. And I just learned that make sure you just learn about what it is that you need to learn about and then ask your parents just don't like base everything off of what your parents know number 11 trust your damn gut girl so if you're a girl watching this we have this amazing thing called motherly instinct and just instinct like you feel in your gut and every single time i felt it in my gut it was right sometimes does my gut get a little weird yes but normally when my gut is like super super strong it is dead on so if you're having a weird gut feeling trust it number 12 read more this past year i have read more books than i have ever read well not like i know i don't know what i'm trying to say this past year i've read more books in this year than i've ever had before and honestly like the more and more books i read the easier and easier it gets and just the more and more you know like your vocabulary expands the way you communicate expands um, the topics you're able to talk about expands like you have to think about when you're gonna go mingle and when you're gonna go talk to new people like have some things to say have some things to bring to people's awareness like it's so much easier than small talk and the more I've read the easier it is just to get in these great conversations with people because you're just so much more global I guess you could say number 13 depression is longing for something when i am depressed or when you are depressed it means your soul is longing for something it doesn't mean you're stuck and you're sad it means that your soul knows you're supposed to be doing more and it's getting sad it's like what are you doing this is a beautiful life like why are you just out there living and it feels worse and worse and worse it keeps you deeper 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 and i listened to this one podcast oprah super soul sunday i forgot which exactly when it was but when he said that, it really resonated with me because I, me and my family have suffered from depression for quite some time, just everyone in the family. And it's so true, it's just we're all here longing for something. And you're mainly longing for love, just like deep, genuine connections. So don't get confused with depression. It's just you needing 
love. Number 14, it is okay to eat that. So basically from the age 17 to 20, I was very weird about what I ate. I judged myself off of what I ate. I was my biggest critic with what I was putting in my mouth. And now that I understand science and now that I understand working out, you can eat that. You most definitely can eat that. Just make sure you do 50 squats. Like you can have whatever you want in this lifetime. Just make sure you're working out with it. 15, number 15. Alone time is crucial. So obviously this is 23 things for me. I don't know about you guys, but I have learned that when you have alone time, that is the time that you truly find yourself. That is the time you're truly more creative. And when you're constantly surrounding yourself by people, constantly surround yourself with people talking, voices on the TV, you get kind of polluted. So is actually um, XXX, Extension, I think that's how you say it. Um, he actually did a lot of live videos where he talked about how manifesting is best when you're alone at home and like to try not to go out as much as you can. Try to always keep your thoughts focused on what you want because that is the time it really goes. So just make sure you give yourself that sacred alone time and just cherish yourself, nourish yourself. 16. Being clean gets rid of anxiety. So it's true. <laughs> I used to be very, very messy, especially in high school. And I guess it was just the second year I moved out of home. I was still messy the first year, but then by the second year, I was like, you know what? I'm over this. And now I'm like a clean freak. I can't have anything messy. I have to have my bed constantly made. I have to have all my things in a certain place. Everything has to be clean. It has to smell good. And it just makes you feel so much better about yourself. You know, if anyone were to walk into your door now, you're not embarrassed. You know, you're not hiding anything. Like, please, just do yourself a favor. Like, it really does help get rid of that anxiousness. And when you clean it, there's like a therapeutic thing about it like never go into cleaning with like a negative mindset because it is you're just taking care of your space in place like it's a good thing it's not a bad thing number 17 mm. you are way more beautiful than you think you are so i always like go i always know my mindsets when i look back at photos and i'll like go back and look at photos and be like dude like what was wrong with you like why were you so sad like you're beautiful god damn it marissa and then i'll like look in the mirror and like pick on myself it's like <sighs> and it's true like whenever people are like 50 60 they'll look back at photos of themselves and be like wow i really was beautiful like why was i so insecure and i just really think you i like to always go back to photos and think about what i was thinking in those moments and be like no your damn head you are beautiful girl you are beautiful <laughs> so just just know like these thoughts just don't listen to them 18. Letting go. That is the craft that once I completely get it down, I will definitely share with you guys how I did so. But letting go. It takes some time because you just truly don't want to. But once it does happen, there's like this relief that comes out of nowhere that makes you feel light again. And just know if people walk out of your life, let them walk out. Just let them go. Don't don't get too stuck in there. Like, don't think that there's no one else out there for you. Don't think that there's anything else. There's no one else like them. There's people better than them. Like, just let things and situations and people go. Like, trust me, they either come back or they don't or new people come in. Like, it's okay. Number 19. Be careful who you talk to. I do this weird thing where I always look for the good in people. I always think people are nice. I always think, I always see the best in people and I always trust people. And over the past three years, I would say are the main years I learned that you just don't need to talk to everyone. Like you can talk to them, you can have small talk, but just you don't need to give them your life story. You don't need to tell them too much. You just, you just really don't have to let them in that deep. So just be really careful with who you talk to. And like, you kind of know, like you kind of know like which people are a little weird about it and which aren't. So just, just be careful with who you talk to. It could get yourself in a lot of trouble. It could get you into stupid gossip and like stupid telephone games. Like just don't involve yourself. There's actually a situation I was in the other night where it's like 
someone was egging on this type of conversation that like literally was none of my business and someone asked for my opinion and I was honestly like this is none of my business I'm not going to input on this conversation and like the looks I got from the table were just like what and it's just like I sounded so mature I was so proud of myself <laughs> and so true like you just uh, it, like if it's going to bring some negativity towards you just be like I'm sorry like I can't I can't be in this conversation right now you might look like a B-I-T-C-H, but you know what? I'd rather be a B-I-T-C-H than a backstabber. Am I right? Number 20, take vitamins. Just take them. Take them. It's not that hard. Just take your vitamins. Like, they, they are a thing. They are a thing for a reason. Learn it. Do it. Figure out what you need to take and watch your body thrive. And number 21, which goes with taking vitamins, drink water, please please drink water. I suck at drinking water for one. So if you guys could just save yourself some time and drink some water, do it. It helps your skin. It helps everything. We are made up of 60% of water. Your body needs it. Number 22. If you're thinking of someone, chances are they're thinking of you too. So this is the weirdest thing about life is I will find myself thinking about people and I'll be like, why am I thinking about this person? Or like, I'll just blah, 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 blah. And like, chances are, every single time I was thinking about a person, they were thinking about me too. And that's just how it goes. So if you're thinking about someone, they're probably thinking about you too, or they thought about you 10 minutes ago, or they're going to think about you in 10 minutes. That's just how it goes. And if it's really bothering you that much, reach out to the person and be like, hey, what's up? Like, they're thinking about you too. Like, it's this weird telepathy we all have as humans. And like... Trust me, it's real. Like, every single time, it's never fails me. And I'm just like, there's so many coincidences in it. I'm like, okay, it's, just, it's not fake anymore. Like, if you're thinking about someone, they're thinking about you too. And number 23, it is okay to beat you. This is the hardest thing I am, that I still deal with. On my channel, I show a lot of me. And trust me, there are so many times I sit back and I watch my videos. I go, should I share that? Ooh, is that a mistake? And is this going to hurt me in the long run? And honestly... Everything you see is just me, and it's okay to be this person. Like, you're not supposed to be like everyone else. You're not supposed to do things like other people. You're supposed to just do things as you. So, just be yourself and be okay with it being yourself. It's very hard. I'm sitting here saying this to you, having a hard time believing it myself, because it's very, very, very hard. But, just know that the more you are yourself, the more... You are not like anyone else, and you stick out a little bit more. So, whatever. I'm all, I'm trying to be as authentic as I can be. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But this was a cute little fun video. I feel like it's going to be a fun little video. And I can't believe I'm about to be 24 years old. I feel like I should have my shit together, but, you know, it is what it is. People are over here having weddings and babies, and I'm over here with my baby pig. Be grumpy here soon. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a grumpy little pig, but it is not fun when you're a pig mom. Because they are loud and obnoxious. Huh. So, I'm going to get back to doing that, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope I see you guys before I turn 24. Ciao.